Hey guys, it's your boy Harris, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the XT30. I've had it for three weeks now, and I'm gonna be giving you my opinion on how it was worked in my workflow. So stay tuned. Why did I need this camera? So as a lot of you know that I shoot predominantly with the X-T3 and Chloe has the X-T2. And we've been finding some troubles lately where I need both bodies on the same day for a shoot and she needs her camera for a shoot as well. So I said, we need to find a way around this. So I thought the X-T30 would be a perfect companion and here's why. I shoot a lot of corporate interviews and whilst doing that, it's nice to have two camera angles. As you can see here on the X-T30, they match up really nicely together. The colors, everything. It's basically the same sensor. So I'm not gonna go into too much spec detail, but as you can see, having two internals together, it works like a dream. Usually when I'm doing my work and I'm doing a video assignment, the client will come up to me and be like, hey sir, video man, you know, since you have the camera anyway, can you please just take some photos of our workshop, you know, uh. boss? Well, you see, it wasn't part of the brief. Boss, listen to me, we're paying you for your hourly rate, but take some photo, it'd be good, be very good for us. Yeah, but it's a whole different discipline. It is a very simple task, you know, just very simple. Listen, mate, I know what you're saying, but it's a completely different discipline. It is actually gonna add on more to your rate right now. And my camera's kind of set up for video right now, so it'll be quite an inconvenience. I don't really know if it's gonna be the right thing to do. It does not require much more effort on your part, but for us, it will be a huge benefit. As you can see, and as you know, that clients can easily change their mind. And for us, it might not be much of an issue doing photo and video, but we are restricted unless we have a second body. So having that second body really helps for those difficult moments when you kind of need to just pull out and do photos as well. Obviously the X-T3 can shoot photo and video and it's not hard to change between the settings. However, in my personal experience, the X-T3 was on a gimbal and having to take the X-T3 on and off the gimbal and try and make sure it's exactly the right place to rebalance it and you keep wanting to switch between photos and video, it was a pain. So having the X-T30 just ready to pick up and go was amazing and I can't stress enough how helpful it was. Another thing that's really been beneficial for me having the X-T30, which I've only just realized now is, I've been doing more time lapses. I usually love time lapses, but having just one body wasn't really giving me that flexibility to do it. So now being able to have the X-T30 doing time lapses and me focusing on what I'm shooting have been really, really helpful. And it just makes your work more dynamic and just cooler, I guess. I think the biggest factor for me enjoying this camera was the size. Having something smaller that fits in your pocket, it was a real shock to me. It was actually smaller than a jar of Nutella, which was, you know, this thing is actually heavier than the camera body itself. So that's got to tell you, it's quite a, quite a small body and knowing that it's an X-T3 inside and 90% of it being an X-T3, I'm, Pretty happy saving that 500 pounds, not gonna lie. So, I hope you like this video. I hope my her own personal experience really helps you understand why the X-T30 is a great choice. And I will see you next week with another video about the studio behind me, what we've done, me and Chloe worked really hard to make sure that Everything is going to be really nice in our new place and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.